if uh, Kitty can go clear, which you'd have to say normally she would, she's going to go into the cross country uh, with a fairly handy advantage over Astier. So Ooh. I have to be very careful that I don't jinx them here, but Kitty and Sealer in the show jumping are a wonderful combination together. Kitty at this level has one of the most impressive of all the, of all the riders show jumping statistics. She's 22 clears from 25 attempts over the last six years. And this is just a lovely horse. You can see how much air he gives these fences. He's very careful with his legs, gets high up in the air. I don't want to uh, put the jinx on her either, but at the moment uh, he's looking very secure. It makes you ride with such confidence too. When you've got a horse, you can go into the ring, you know he's going to try, you know he doesn't like touching fences. It makes you ride with a lot more confidence as well. Her time looks like she'll be okay, but uh, she doesn't even need to worry too much about that. She can afford a time fault or two, but she won't want to be giving away anything if she doesn't have to. And oh, he's just a lovely jumper, this horse. I wouldn't be surprised at all to see this girl with this horse at the Olympic Games come August. Oh, super clear round. So another clear round. So we've, that's their seventh clear round in the last 12 months, 100% record. Yeah, never looked like touching a fence. No, and it was the same at their round in Belton earlier this year. Cle clear round with St. Olan. Yeah, he was fantastic. He was on. Oh, he's just on springs. I was worried I was going to get time faults because he was spending so long in the air. He went so high, but I mean, he couldn't have jumped better. And you know, he he is a super jumper. So I went in there confident, but you never know what's going to happen. And yeah, absolutely delighted with how he's gone. Well, what a problem to have him spending so much time in the air. He didn't look like he was going to hit a pole. The times have been quite influential in in the show jumping today. Yeah, that's why I was worried a bit when we were kind of in the air. He was giving them so much space. So um, kind of halfway round, I was suddenly like, oh God, I need to kind of kick on around these corners a bit. But he's so responsive that you can move him up and sit up and balance and he comes straight back to you. And he's ever so polite to ride for a big horse. And yeah, he gave me a lovely ride around there. You've got some super horses coming up through the greys and Persimmon. He's, uh, he's in the wings as well. You've got two fantastic horses for Rio. I'm really, really lucky. Um, you know, Persimmon's been a great horse. He was fantastic last year at Blair. Um, we haven't quite found our form yet this spring. Um, but we're, you know, we're working away at him and it's lovely to have them both, you know, at the fall really for hopefully selection, fingers crossed. So when you were warming up in here, just uh, moments before you went in to do your show jumping round, you heard that Aoife Clark had one fence down with uh, Fernhill Adventure. Did that take the pressure off or did you still feel the pressure? Um, it did a little bit because then I knew I had a fence in, in hand. Um, but to be honest, he, he is such a good jumper that you're always going so confident because I know that unless I mess it up, He'll jump a clear round because he doesn't want to hit them for me, so I have not to be a spanner on board. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not very often that you do that. You're a very good show jumper in your own right. Ian Stark's cross-country course. Now, this has to be in your sights now. We've, we know that only one person has ever made the time o with over a 1,000 horses gone round the three-star track. Astia Nicola with uh, Quickly de Bouget. Are you going to go for the time and get this first inaugural running of the Event Rider Masters and £16,000 under your belt? I'm going to be doing my best. Um, you know, he isn't a pure thoroughbred like Astier's little horse was. But we're, he'll be kicking on, doing our best, and I'll also be riding the horse that's underneath me because I don't want to take any chances because he is so special for the future. Well, we hope we see you in top spot at the end of the cross-country on that podium finish. Kitty King, good luck. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, uh...